Well, we are indeed, James. We've got reports of the most elusive of the beautiful animals out here, and that's what it's proving to be, is elusive. So somewhere here, hidden in amongst this thicket, is what we are looking for. Now, hopefully he's not gone too far, but I'm hoping to show you what we're talking about very, very shortly indeed. Oh, there he is. Look there in front. Can you see? There's a beautiful big male leopard that's walking in front of us. So he's very, very well camouflaged and it's difficult to see him, but there he is there striding out and he's going down towards the dam. Now this is very exciting. This is our big dominant male that we get here and he's a real beautiful male. He's massive. He's got big shoulders and a big neck. Now the reason why I know it's a male leopard is just because of the size. The females are nowhere near as big. So I'm going to try and just go around him so I can see him from the front and show you all of him from the front. Now he is moving quite quickly which is very typical of this particular male. He likes to move fast. He's not a male that hangs around very much at all. He always seems to be on a sort of territorial mission and he likes to kind of patrol his territory with much vigor. So he does move around quite a bit. Now hopefully he's going to just keep going. There he is. So I'm going to try and just quickly see if I can't sneak through here. Now this is the thing about following leopards off road is that it gets a little bit hairy at times because you've got to move quite quickly but I think where he's going is to a little pan in front of us which is not too far away and hopefully we'll be able to see him sort of slow down there and we'll be able to see him very very nicely. Now the reason why I'm going a little bit further ahead of him is so that we can watch him walk towards us because this male is quite relaxed so he's not very shy as some leopards can be and it means that he'll allow us to see him. Now he should be coming from there. There we go, Seb. You should be able to see him coming down the hill now. But isn't this amazing? We are so, so lucky to see him. Leopards are, like I say, one of the hardest of the big cats to find. They're very, very shy and very elusive animals. They like to hide out in thick bush and move around in the cover of night. Dakota, you're wondering if leopards are mean. Well, no, leopards are not mean unless you're an impala like James has because they'll eat you. But if you are a human like us, then you'll see now, look what, she's going to walk very close to us and he's not going to be aggressive towards us at all. He knows that we're not food and that's why he's not mean to us. Now, I don't want to shine directly in his eyes, so I'm going to just shine on the grass in front of him. But isn't he beautiful? What a magnificent animal. And look how big he is. You can see, look where he's walking. Isn't this amazing? So Kennedy, are you wondering if I'm scared of the leopard? No, Kennedy, I'm not. This particular male, I've seen him for many, many years now. The first time I saw him was in 2011. So I saw him already six years ago and he's never been aggressive towards me. So I'm not too worried about him at this stage. He's really, as you can see, not worried about us at all. He walked right past the car and he didn't even bat an eyelid or say or sort of growl at us or anything like that. So that means I don't have to worry about him too much. He's perfectly happy with my presence and we are happy to see him too, which is great. So I wonder where he's going to go now. I thought he might go for a drink. So Ashley, you're wondering what leopards eat. Well, Ashley, that's a good question because leopards have the biggest diet or widest amount of animals that they, out of all of our predators here. They'll eat everything from little insects like termites all the way to baby elephants and everything in between. So they'll eat um, scrub hairs, which is like a type of rabbit. They'll eat the impalas like James saw, the nyalas that you saw earlier, all of those types of antelopes they'll eat. Now listen. Can you hear in the background there's a squeaking? That's the monkeys that are alarm calling. So the monkeys have seen him and are shouting to tell everybody, we've seen a leopard, be careful. Don't go too near us because we can spot that there is danger. That's why they're making that sound. You can see he's looking at them. So... They might be a little bit far for you to hear them, but they're making quite a bit of a sound quite far from where we are now. And look, now he's watching and just seeing what they're doing. I'm going to go forward a bit. Let's just see. But the monkeys are shouting to tell everybody else to be careful. And let's see if we can't see his face a little bit. But look how beautiful he is. Where are you going, mister? 
walking towards the monkey, so hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit closer, and then I will be able to sh let you hear what's going on, and you can hear the monkeys. So, Brynlin, you're wondering why they have spots. Well, the reason they have spots is because they need to camouflage and where they like to hang around is in thick bush where there's lots of shade and the shade means that there is lots of little places where there's bright spots and dark spots and that means that the spotted coat helps to really blend in really well and it makes it much harder for anyone to see them so that's why now I have to call this in on the radio because there's lots of people that are looking for a leopard this evening and like I was saying we've been very lucky that we managed to find it and so we need to let all the others know as well is there any station that copies me but isn't that amazing he's now lying down and showing us just how beautiful a leopard can be yeah, Ralph, I've got Tingana at uh, Gari Dam, just static at the dam itself. So he's just busy grooming. Look at that. I found the dam in front of Via Telecamp. See how he listens? I uh, know it's Trist Ralph, um, but you can make your way. So what we do is we let some of the other guys know as well because we have other vehicles out here that have guests on them. So people that have come from other parts of the world to come and see these animals in real life. And so we let the other guys know that we've seen one so that those guests can also get a chance to see these beautiful creatures. And I wonder if he's not maybe going to roll around. There is some dung there and they do roll around in dung. So, Bryson, you're wondering if the animals are scared of the light. Well, no, they're not scared of the light. You can see, look, he's looking right at us, but the light is not that comfortable in their eyes. So we generally try and turn the light off when we can um, at night and try and use our infrared. But with him moving so much, it's difficult to keep an eye on him without using the lights. We need to use the lights to be able to spot him because it's now getting very dark. If I have to turn off the lights, you'll see he'll just disappear. And so it makes it quite tough. But look, look at those eyes. Did you see those eyes? How they're piercing they are and look as though they're looking into the deepest part of your eyes and they almost sort of looking at you as to say, what's going on and who are you? But yes, so the lights you'll see, when we shine the lights, you can see where the light is. It's right in front of him. So I'm just bouncing the light off the road so that we don't hurt his eyes or blind him too much with the spotlight. But he's definitely rolling around in dung. leopards don't get hurt very easily they're very clever animals and very very strong in terms of their sort of size and weight they're one of the strongest cats that are out there in the world and so they're very very easily able to defend themselves but if there's something like a lion or a hyena which are also big predators then you'll find the leopard is able to get into trees and so they can jump into a tree and get away from that lion or leopard up in the tree and climb and then they sit in the tree there for safety so they don't get hurt very often um, but every now and then you might find sometimes they get caught by a lion or a hyena and then yes they can get hurt and also male leopards like this will fight with one another quite a bit they have an area that they like to walk around in and they only they like to walk there and if another male comes then they chase them away it's like if you have somebody coming into your house that you don't know you don't want them in your house and so you chase them away and it's the same with the leopard and then sometimes they can hurt themselves when they're doing that and trying to keep each other away from one another So, Asumi, you're wondering if the leopard would eat the monkeys. Yes, most definitely they would eat the monkeys. A male like this, might he might try to hunt monkeys, but he's going to be a little bit big and a bit slow for the monkeys. So you find the females tend to be able to do it a lot better than the males. But yes, they will. And that's why the monkeys were making a noise, is because they're warning everyone. We've seen this predator, and this could maybe come and try and chase us. And so that's why they made a lot of noise. But the, the leopard, if it can get close enough to the monkey, will most definitely try and go after it. Look how he's listening now. You see how he's using his ears to see, hear what's going on around him. So Aurora and Autumn, you're wondering how fast a leopard can run. Well, 
Leopards can run quite fast, but not as fast as a lion or a cheetah. They're a little bit slow because they're very, very strong animals, but they don't have nearly as sort of long legs as what the cheetah does, and they're also a lot heavier than the cheetah. And so it means that a leopard will run at about, so they run at about 70 kilometers an hour, which is about 45 miles per hour. So much faster than any of us can run, and they have to be quite fast because they have to be able to catch their food and so you'll find that they do move quite quickly but what the leopard does well is when it's hunting it will go into a thick area and then it lies down and those spots blend in very very well and then it can launch an attack with a quick sort of start with the explosive power in their legs and that's how they're able to then grab their prey animals they don't chase them for long periods like a cheetah would isn't he beautiful though Kimmy, yes, he does have very big teeth. Hopefully he's going to yawn for us. Often when they lie down like this, just before they get up, they'll yawn, and I'll be able to show you their teeth. But his biggest tooth, which is his canine, and that's the one on the side of his mouth, those teeth are probably about almost three inches long, about two and a half to three inches. So they're very, very long, and he needs those teeth to be able to grab some of the prey animals that he goes after. Then his other teeth are quite small actually, and they're shaped like triangles. And the reason why his sh teeth are shaped like triangles is so that they can work like a knife. When you cut something, you use your knife to cut up your food, and it's the same with the leopard. When he's eating his meat, he needs those triangular teeth, and those triangles will basically cut together, and they take off little bits of meat that he can then swallow and be able to feed off. So you'll find his other teeth are quite small, but he's got four very big canines that are on the sides of his mouth and hopefully he's going to show them to us when he yawns. I'm not sure if he will, but they do sometimes do it when they are about to get up and move. So Autumn, you're wondering if they have soft paws. Well, I don't know if this particular male has soft paws because he is a wild animal, so we can't touch him. He'll be very upset if we try to touch him and then he'll be very dangerous to us. And so his paws probably aren't very soft and the reason why I say that because I haven't touched them is that he moves around quite a bit and he walks across thorns and sand and rocks and I don't know if you've walked around barefoot over rocks and things like that it hurts your feet doesn't it and so with these paws after time after walking over those the paw becomes much harder so that it doesn't hurt him and he can then walk around through the thorns and everything else and his feet don't hurt so his paws are probably not very soft at all they're probably quite hard I don't know if you have a dog at home or a cat and if you do have a dog or a cat if you feel their paws when they get old Older, their paws. So that was him telling everybody that this is his territory and that he is the big king of this area. Isn't that an amazing sound? Wow, we're so spoiled this evening. Very, very lucky to be able to see this male and to hear him calling is even more special. Thank you, Mr. Tingana. So, Gariana, you want to know how big his mouth opens? Well, his mouth can open quite wide. He can yawn, and you have, don't know if you've ever seen a cat yawning. They open their mouth almost, I would say, 45 degrees. So they're able to open it quite big, and you'd be able to fit easily a big orange inside his mouth if he opened his mouth wide enough. And so that's how big it is. It's really quite sort of large when they do open it. So, Andrew, you're wondering what our leopard is doing. Well, he's listening to the sounds of the night. So a leopard is an animal that likes to move in the dark of night, and they need to hear their prey. And so they will use those ears to listen as well as their eyes to see what's going on. So he's looking to see if there's any, maybe some animals that he could hunt somewhere close by. And did you see his yawn? Did you see how big his teeth are? Look, and also how wide his mouth opened. Now, him yawning might mean that he's going to get up and move again. And then when he's calling like that, when we heard him making that sound, that sounds like somebody sawing wood, that's him telling everybody here that I am the big male leopard here and that you mustn't come here because I will try and chase you away and fight with you if you do. And it's also telling any of the girls here that he's here and about in case they want to find him.
So Graylin, you want to know if the leopard can hear me? Most definitely. Look at his ear. His ear is pointing towards us. So while I'm talking, the leopard is listening to me talking. He can definitely hear me. Look at his mouth. See how big it is. So it's very large when he opens it and yawns. And he can most definitely hear me. His hearing is much better than what my hearing is. He can hear a long, long, long way away. They can even hear little mice moving around in the grass or an antelope that's moving around in a thicket somewhere close by. So they hearing is very good now the sound that he made just now if another leopard was in this area he would be able to hear it from about five kilometers which is ooh, about three and a half miles away they would be able to hear that call so they've got very very good hearing much better hearing than what we do right unfortunately it's coming to the end of our drive it's been such a pleasure having you with us and i hope you really enjoyed to see this big male leopard i know sebastian is very excited on the camera there and so from james and fergus on the other vehicle who showed you all the beautiful antelope it's a very 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 fond farewell i hope that you had a good time and from myself Thank you for joining us and we'll see you, for all our other viewers, we'll see you tomorrow on our Sunrise Safari.